So we had to get off trail about, uh, I don't know, 30 yards or so. But look at this view. It's freaking amazing. Look at this view out here, a lake down down below. And geez, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, uh, nine, ten, probably eleven, twelve layers of mountain ranges here. Uh, here we go. Say hey, guy. hey. hey guys. Hey guys. Day four. Yeah, day four, heading to Shelf Lake. We're rocking it. Still a little bit of snow up here. We're at peak elevation today, about 94.20. Um, we'll have some up and send downs before we get to Shelf Lake. But uh, this is about as high as we get today. We'll be up higher tomorrow, or actually peak elevation for the entire trip will be today, a side trip up to, um, up to a mountain peak um, from our campsite. So. Pretty amazing. Here's Kurt making a snow angel with the backpack on. <laughs> I think the altitude's getting to me. <laughs> Need oxygen. <laughs> I learned about trail angels today. <laughs> and trail magic. <laughs> All right, doing a big climb. Let's see the guys behind me. Probably can't tell how steep this is. Crazy steep. Woo. Well, that was a climb, yeah. but uh, the view is worth it here. Beautiful. Looking uh, eh, about southeast is that view there. Uh, good stuff. It's good when a hard climb results in a spectacular view that's my watch going off storm alarm but it's just because we gained so much altitude the barometric pressure dropped so it thinks it's a storm but the skies look pretty pretty clear so. some mountains off over there So I thought I'd get some video of uh, just some other kind of trail that we, we go through. We're coming down uh, down a mountain pass uh, in some forest. So we get these kinds of views too, which are pretty. There's a, a creek running over there. We're way down in, inside a a gorge. And we just came from the top. Uh, it's pretty. So here is Crescent Lake. It's about uh, a little bit more than halfway for our day today. Uh, beautiful lake. There's some ducks out there floating. Snow up on the mountainside. Beautiful. All right, here we are at the turning point, uh, Specimen Creek and uh, Shelf Lake. So 
Crescent Lake and High Lake, back that way. We are headed to Shelf Lake, another 2.1 miles. And that's how we get to Skyrim Trail. And here are the guys. Say hi, great guys. Day. Great day on the trail. Yeah. It's no been, concrete. It's been a beautiful day. No concrete, no asphalt, no cars. Another fun crossing. No people. Right? No, no, no people today. No, no we haven't seen any no people. No drama. Yeah. So it's beautiful. So we're doing our little side trip up to Sheep Mountain. So we're just uh, going to wind up this, get on top of this ridge. And we're going to go that ridge and uh, Sheep Mountain over there. Here are the guys. Let's do it. And we're rocking it. it. All right. Here we are. Uh, Skyrim Trail. And we are on the upper northwest boundary of Yellowstone National Park. Uh, I said my goal was to hike all four corners. Um, the other ones, I almost touched the corners. This one, I'm actually touching the corner of uh, the boundary. So, good stuff. Uh, we gotta find the offshoot trail and be there. So, there's really no trail here, um, but we're on the park boundary. There are some cairns, and there's a post up ahead. But look at this. Look at this. Sheep mountain up there. Guess. Looks like maybe there's a trail over there. We are, uh, the park uh, is, this part of the park is actually in Montana. So the upper northwest uh, corner is in Montana, and Montana is big sky country. This is why, this is why it's big sky country. This is awesome. Really windy up here. Hopefully you can hear. It's awesome. So that's Shelf Lake down there. That's where we're camping. And our tents are right in there. So we've come up to this ridge line and we're uh, we're gonna head up there. So if we can find a trail, we're still there's still really no trail, so we'll see. So, uh, that's Sheep Mountain. We haven't made it up top yet. Um, just watching these uh, clouds behind us. Um, and, uh, and going slow at angles to work our way up there. There's no trail out here, really. There's game trails periodically. Then we lose them. So we're just kind of making our own way. So I think this here is actually Sheep Mountain here, this marker, but there's a further peak out there. It actually has a, uh, I'd say a radio tower that's on there. I guess they bounce uh, radio signals off of it uh, to other locations. So uh, pretty cool. We'll see if we can go up there. Here we are. See if I can find the survey marker up here. walked up that on that ridge 
wouldn't want to fall down that. Here comes Steve. And the cart's just right behind him. I'll wait for him to pop up. I'm not going to spend too much time up here. You don't hear any thunder or see any lightning, but those clouds are a little dark, so I'm going to take some pictures, some video, and get out of here. What is this? Um, I don't know. This says, uh, I think this says MR Shrisan. Mr. Shrisan. I don't know what that means. Maybe somebody's ashes are here? I don't know. This says Mr. Shrishan. Shrishan. You think somebody's ashes are up here? Yeah. Uh, let's have a moment of silence. So that is a microflector. Bounces radio signals off the top of this mountain. This is incredible. Here comes Kurt. <laughs> we made it, baby. I'm not spending too much time up here, though. Right. I don't like those. All right, we just made it back from Sheep Mountain. Um, uh, basically a three three mile round trip. Um, it was pretty insane, there was no trail. Uh, we were just route finding up to the top. Um, There's a little bit of tra section of trail at one part, but way deep in was the trail. Uh, not at the start, not really at the finish, just in the, the, some middle section. Um, so here are the guys. What do you think guys, what was that? We're, doing, we're going to do it tomorrow before we do uh... <laughs> <laughs> I thought, you spend four days out here, you think you hate a trail. Until you don't have one. <laughs> and you yeah. really want a trail. And real happy to see one. Yeah. yeah. The trail uh, was awesome. I think well, I left yeah. my... When it was there. Yeah. I think I left my ankle back up there. Did you? Yeah. I, I still uh, have my soul. That's all you have your soul. <laughs> I still have it. I lost that years ago. <laughs> oh, that was good. That was good. So, uh, so far this trip has gone uh, exactly as planned. Um, there were a lot of things that could have gone wrong, uh, and everything has clicked so far. We've got we've got one more night and uh, one more day to get out of here. It's day. it's the biggest day uh, across Skyrim Trail. The weather's looking like it's the forecast looks good. Um, so we should have a hopefully a clear day that we can get up on uh, Skyrim Trail and and walk it. Um, it's about an eight mile section up on a ridge, uh, completely exposed. So um, we've got a couple of um, bailout points if we need, but um, uh, we're gonna we're gonna go for it. And uh, as long as when we wake up, you know the weather looks good, uh, we're gonna we're gonna go for it and uh, we'll get out get out of here tomorrow. All right. Let's do it. Thank you.